Hello all, welcome to Soska tutorial and in this tutorial I am going to look at the inquiry tools. Inquiry tools are tools which you will use to find the distances, radius, areas of certain objects in AutoCAD. So you can start inquiry tool using MEA command that is for major geometry. MEA, type on command line MEA and the inquiry command will be activated. Alternatively, you can start your inquiry tool using home ribbon and the utilities panel. So on home ribbon and utilities pal panel, here you will find all the inquiry tools that you can use to measure areas, angle, radius and distances of different objects. So I'll first start with the distance. But before going to these commands, I suggest you to increase the length of this command line a little bit so that we can see all the areas and all the lengths and all quite clearly. So now let's go to this utilities panel and from here I'll select the distance tool. Now the distance tool will measure the distance between any two points, the shortest distance between any two points. So now let's say we want to measure the distance between these two points and which is obviously equal to the length of this line. So for that I'll click on this point and then on this point. As soon as you'll do this, you will find here on the command line some of the properties that includes distance as well. So here is the distance, here is the angle in xy plane and the coordinates, the difference of coordinates. So you have got all these values. So we are concerned about the distance and the distance is 7.4785 units. Now let's, let's inquire the distance between these two centers now we have made these two circles and we want to know the distance between these two centers for that i'm going to select measure tool again and this time i'll click on the center of this circle and then center of this circle and once again the distance is 5.6884 now in a similar way we can measure radius also so go to radius and click on the object that has radius for example an arc or a circle this will only work for these two types of object so now click on this arc which is a part of this polyline and which is obviously a fillet. So click on this and you'll find here radius is 2 units and the diameter is 4 units. Similarly go to this tool again and click on the circle and here you will find radius is 0.6147 units and the diameter is 1.2294 units. So in this way you can measure radius as well. Now let's go to angle. So go to angle and after selecting angle tool you need to specify two line objects. So click on this line and then click on this line and the angle is 46 degrees. So there you go. So you can measure angle between any two lines. Now to measure angle between any two lines these lines need not be connected. You can measure the angle if they are not connected also. So now let's go to angle tool select this line and in second case I am selecting this line and the angle is 39 degrees. So what actually 39 degrees is? If you'll extend this line and you'll extend this line, they'll meet at a certain point and this angle is 39 degrees which has been shown by that inquiry tool. Now let's measure areas of certain objects. So now let's go to the area tool. Now in area tool you'll find on the command line some of the sub options or sub commands the first one is object. So let's go ahead and select the object. Suppose I want to measure the area of the circle. So I have selected the object, click on the circle and here is the area. The area of circle is 7.4008 units and the circumference is 9.6437. Now similarly you can go to this area tool again and go to object and select this object and this will measure the entire area of this object this polyline object okay so go to area and this time though don't select object click on this corner then click on this corner and then click on this corner and press enter and now here we have the area 27.0630 units and the perimeter is 24.7324 units so you can measure areas of this these types of object so now let's go and measure the area of this object so that the area excludes these two circles. 
so I'm concerned about the area of this remaining object so let's measure it so go to area tool and now I'll go on and add area so go to add area and then select object and now click on this object now this entire area has been selected and you can see that its area is this and the perimeter is this now let's go to subtract mode press enter and now go to subtract mode and again select object and click on this circle and this circle and then here we have the total area now this area is the area of this complete polyline object excluding the area of these two circles so this is the area which we get that is 80.3640 units so in this way you can measure the area of an object now what if we had uh, we have an object something like this which is composed of separate lines which is not a single object and still we want to measure the area of this we have two options either you make a hatch and measure the area of hatch which I have shown in a, another video and you can follow the link on the screen to go to that video video to measure the area using hatch tool or you can join this complete object so go on join this complete object and now measure the area of this object go to area and object click on the object and there you go you have the area and later on you can explode it to bring it back to its original shape so in this way also you can measure the area okay so the last tool is volume so now let's measure the volume of these two objects so go to volume select your object and click on the object and there we have the volume of object is 6.1453 units similarly you can measure the volume of this simple cubicle object using the same tool so that was all for today's tutorial and if you feel that my tutorials are helpful to you then please don't forget to subscribe and as always thanks for watching